Swipe input, a plugin that allows you to check for a swipe on the touch screen or a mouse. The way it works is quite simple. Just go into any condition that uses JavaScript, for example, in the fourth tab at the very end of the conditional branch, and use the command swipe input dot is triggered, and then within the parentheses, input a direction that can be up, down, left, or right. So quote, and we'll do up for this example, like that. And since this is in a parallel common event, this is going to be checked constantly. And then when it's true, what's going to happen is, we're going to get a dialog box that says, swiped up. And then in our game, when we swipe up, it's going to say, swiped up. And we, we did, we swiped up. Yeah. There are also optional parameters you can use to do other checks for your swipe. For example, the second parameter is the minimum amount of distance your finger or mouse has to travel during the swipe for it to count as a swipe. So for example, we could input 100, and that means it has to travel 100 pixels up for it to count as a swipe. Furthermore, there's a third optional parameter, which is the maximum amount of time the finger or mouse can be pressed on the screen until it's no longer counting as a swipe. This is usually something really big like 9999 because it doesn't really matter. Though if you want to have a very specific amount of time in which a swipe can occur, you can set it something like, I don't know, 500. Make sure it isn't on there for too long. Now the swipe input is triggered refers to the exact moment the swipe is completed. So it's going to be for things that only want to happen once, for example. But let's say you want to have a constant check for whether a swipe is currently occurring, is completed, and is still going on. Then you would use swipe input is pressed like this. Now this function is very similar, you have to put in a direction, there's an optional amount of minimum distance you have to cover, but for this time, the third parameter actually refers to the minimum amount of time the finger needs to be on for it to start counting as a swipe. So usually this could just be zero, but it can also set something bigger like 200, maybe 300, just in case you don't want like a single button press to count as some sort of swipe. And then finally, in the parameters, you can also customize the default minimum distance if one isn't specified for that is pressed or is triggered. You can customize the default maximum amount of time for the is triggered, and also the default minimum amount of time for the is pressed. And also you can set it so if you want this only to occur in battle. Now, think. Why would you only want this to happen in battle? Now on an unrelated note, I've updated the timed attack arrows so you can customize conditions that have to be true for an up, right, down, or left button to be pressed. So as you can see, by default just trig input is triggered up, right, down, left, and stuff. But think, what can we do now? What can we do to make this work with mobile? The answer is you install the swipe input, then you go to your arrows, and you go right here and go like to the front and go like swipe input. And then you copy this and they paste it into all of these right here, like bam, whoa, and wait, bam, we're going here, bam, and now we're good to go. And now if you're on a mobile device, you can swipe to use the time attack arrows. So let's actually attack all these guys. We're gonna do down, down, up, right, and there we go, it worked. We're gonna do right, right, down, right. And there we go again, works perfectly. I'm not touching the keyboard at all, just right, left, down, and up. There, oh, I messed that one up, I was too slow, you gotta be fast. Gotta go fast and stuff. Yeah, up, up, down, up, all right, there we go. Yeah, it's working. The download link to this plugin is in the description of this video. If you enjoyed, give the video a thumbs up. Be sure to subscribe, comment, uh, stuff. What do you think this swipe input plugin be used for? I don't know, I just made it for the time attacks. Cause like, I want to make more arrow time attacks to like, I was afraid they weren't be compatible with mobile, and now they will be. Oh yeah. Yeah. Uh-oh. Oh, I didn't even change the damage to fix it. Oh well. What will we do? I guess that's all for this video. Until next time. Bam. That, that isn't dead yet. Down, right, up, right. There we go. Bam. Dead. We won. Yes.